Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Math Zone African Motives. Uh, we are still on our mathematics for grade 10, uh, working with the Euclidean geometry, uh, working with our question papers. Uh, this is another exam question that we're going to consider uh, where we are given a question number eight. In parallelogram, we are given P, Q, R, S. All right, this is the parallelogram P, Q, R, S. This whole part here, P, Q, R, S. This is our parallelogram, all right? Then we're given that P, W, that is P, W, this line, bisects, so remember to bisect is to divide into two equal parts. So it bisects angle Q, P, S, Q, P, S, which is this angle here, Q to P to S. There's an angle that is created here. So it bisects, to bisect this P, W, this line, it bisects, it divides this angle into two equal parts. That is to bisect, to divide into two equal parts. So it simply means the angle P1, this one, is going to be equal to angle P2. These two angles, they are equal. All right? So it simply means angle P1 is equal to angle P2, which is equal to X, because this is X. So it means also this will be X. Okay? Now let's move on. Uh, then SW, uh, that is from S to W, this line, SW, this line, SW, okay? Bisects PSR, bisects PSR, this angle PSR, the angle PSR at S. So you consider at, at S, the angle that is at S, PSR, this angle. So this line bisects this angle. So it is divided into two equal parts, again, just like the previous case. So that means angle S1 and angle S2, they are equal. So also this is equal to Y. S1 is equal to S2. This is what we can see from our diagram. We are just taking the information, all right? Let's move on. PW is parallel to ST, all right? PW, that is uh, from P to W, and from S to T, these two lines, they are parallel, okay? So I give it the indication of the parallel lines, which is fine, okay? I'm gonna see uh, all that. Then also, PT is parallel to WS. PT is parallel to WS, as you can see the indication of these parallel lines, all right? So this is what you're given on our information, okay? Which is fine. So we want to take this information now into consideration to answer our questions. All right, so let us check our questions uh, that we're given. The first part is to prove that X plus Y is equal to 90 degrees. All right. If we add X and Y, we must get 90 degrees. Okay. From where? We do not know. Uh, all right, let us just take some of the information. Remember, here we have got some of this information. You said P1 is equal to P2 from the given information. So this will be X, and this will be X, this will be Y, and this will be Y. Okay. So uh, this, this is interesting. We can actually work with this. This is interesting. This is interesting. All right. This is interesting. So you can actually work with this we can actually work with this one. All right, PQ, this side of PQ, right? And SR, because we are told this is a parallelogram. So from the properties of a parallelogram, it follows that side PS is parallel to QR. PQ is also parallel to RS, all right? So I'm just going to take this as a continuation. Remember, I want to prove that X plus Y is 90 degrees. All right. So I'm just going to take this as a continuation from here, uh, 8.1. I'm just going to take this already. We, we wrote this. Uh, P1 is equal to P2. Um, this is equal to X. All right. Uh, P1 and P2. 
or uh, S1 and S2 is equal to Y. So when you're asked to prove it, it's not like you know, like you, you're, you're not a prophet. No, you are not a prophet. Like you, you, you figure out, okay? Like what I'm doing now, I just want to tell you, uh, show you how you figure out. So this is it. Uh, as we can see here, there's an interesting part that we can see from our parallel lines. This whole part of P and this whole part of angle S, these are core interior angles. They create a C like this. This is a, these are parallel lines. So we've got this angle and this angle. These are core interior angles. And we know that core interior angles, they add up to 180. And this is exactly the situation that we are having on this point. The wall of angle P, which is this angle P, and the angle S added up together should give us 180 degrees. So you can actually form an equation to say angle P plus angle S is equal to 180 degrees. We are talking about co-interior angles. The angle P that we are talking about is the QPS, the wall of this angle P. Meaning to say we are talking about X plus X, which is two X because we say these two angles are equal. So we've got two X plus the angle S is the wall of this angle consisting of S1 and S2. Meaning to say we are adding y plus y, which is going to give us 2y. This is 180 degrees, right? So as you can see, you can just divide by 2, by 2, by 2, each and every part. Okay, this was a straightforward person. Uh, that's y is equal to 2 into 180. That is 90 degrees. Okay, so that is how we could have played around. So this type of equation is like, uh, you know, exam, exam, guys. This is exam, exam. They just want to... They, they just want to test, is to test you. So uh, you do as much questions as possible, as much question papers as you can, uh, so that you can actually read the mind of a, the examiner. What is important is for you to understand the mind of the examiner. How do they uh, ask these questions? All right, so that was it uh, on this part. So the reason here, uh, that we said P and S should give us 180 degrees. We said uh, it's from the core interior angles. So remember from the parallel lines concept. So these are core interior angles, right? So we're talking about core interior angles, right? Because uh, the side PQ is parallel to SR, right? Uh, PQ is parallel to SR. So that's it. Uh, then there from there, you can just uh, divide and so forth and so forth. So these, uh, we are just given, all right? All right, we are given from the information. It's not like we have proved this or something, all right? So this is just given, it bisects this, so that is uh, that is it. Four marks, okay, four marks for that. Yeah, for four marks, yeah, you can actually have everything, all the marks there. Uh, let us check the other part. 8.2, prove that PWST is a rectangle. All right, P, okay, let me put it this way. P, W, S, T is a rectangle. Okay, this is it. This is it. This is it. And this is nice. This is a nice question, actually, that we have here. This is a very, very nice question. Uh, P, W, S, T is a rectangle. All right, this is what you want to prove. Can we prove this? Okay, let's take it this way. If this is a rectangle here, P, W, S to T like this, if this is a rectangle, uh, remember a rectangle is a parallelogram. Uh, remember a parallelogram is actually the mother of the, the quadrilateral, the quadrilaterals, rectangle, square, and the rhombus. I talked about this. And you're gonna see that the special part of a rectangle is that it's a parallelogram, right? All right, let, let me define this. A rectangle, a rectangle is a parallelogram, is a parallelogram uh, with interior angle of 90 degrees. All right, this is the most important part. With interior angle, that's interior interior angle, all right, sorry, that's an R, the interior angle of 90 degrees, that's a right angle. Meaning to say, 
if this be a rectangle, it means we must have a 90 degrees here, all right? We must have a 90 degrees here. We must have a 90 degrees here. We must have a 90 degrees there. All right, so this is it. Uh, the first thing that we can see that already it's a the, it, already it's a parallelogram. All right, so this is uh this is not it's not part of your proof. I'm not answering the question. I'm just explaining to you what you need to understand. All right, so we are saying a rectangle is a parallelogram, and by the look of things, by the look of things, P W S T is a parallelogram. All right, why? We've got both pairs of sides that are parallel to this side, parallel to this, this side, parallel to this. All right? So it means P, now we are, now we are proving now. So these are, these are the steps. So I'm just going to have the steps here. So we can see that uh, because we are told about this information, P, this, so it's already given P, W, this and that parallel, all right? So we're already given this, all right? So we're already given this. Uh, PW parallel to ST, uh, PT parallel to WS, this we are already given, all right? This we are already given. So by this given information, it tells us this is a parallelogram. Therefore, uh, P, W to S to T is a parallelogram. All right, let us just have this. It is a parallelogram. All right, this is the reason. These opposite sides, they are parallel to each other. So that makes it to be a parallelogram. Remember the properties of a parallelogram? Two pairs of opposite sides equal and parallel. So by being opposite and parallel there, we're gonna have it as a parallelogram. Remember, I said a parallelogram is the mother of the rectangle, the rhombus, and the square. So by just being parallel, we, we, and we are just saying it's a parallelogram because it can be a rhombus. Take note that it can be a rhombus. It can be a square. It can be a rectangle. So now we are not yet sure. All right. So the reason for just making this to be for, for just saying this is a parallelogram is because of what? Both pairs of what? Uh, both pairs of opposite sides parallel. Both uh, pairs of opposite sides. Both pairs of opposite uh, sides uh, parallel. So these ones, they are parallel, right? So you said these are parallel to each other. And that's what you saw from our diagram here. These two are parallel. So that's the reason for us to say this is a parallelogram. But I say it, a rectangle is a parallelogram with interior angle of 90 degrees. So is there any angle that we can prove inside this shape, PWST? Is there any angle that we can prove that it is equal to 90 degrees? All right, let's think, let's think. Remember, we talked about this before here, here. We proved something, we proved that if we add X and Y, we get 90 degrees, all right. This is what I want you to see here. If we add X and Y, we get 90 degrees. We want to talk about something inside of the quadrilateral, this one, P, W, S, T. We want to talk about what is inside. This is what we have inside. All right. Whether the X is outside, the, the Y is whatever, guys, as long I see X and I see a Y like this, if I add these two, I'm supposed to get 90 degrees. I don't know whether X is 30 or Y is 60, I don't know, but X plus Y is 90 degrees. All right. So from that concept, if you are to consider what is inside of the rectangle now, because this is outside, we want to consider what is inside of the rectangle because we are talking about the interior angle. So there I have got an X and here I've got a Y. 
this x and this y, they add up to 90 degrees. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Uh, I want us to be very, very clear. Very, very clear. So that we do not confuse each other. So that also you, you understand what I'm trying to say. So if I am to take this x and y to be 90, it's already, I, I, I've already covered 90 degrees here, guys, already here. I've already covered 90 degrees. I don't know if we are together. If I take, if you see what, what I'm trying to say, whether this x is 50, this one is uh, like this, okay. It, it does not matter. We, don't, we do not know whether this is 50 like this, this is 40. What matters is that if we combine these two, we get 90 degrees. All right, whether this is 60 degrees, this is 30 degrees. What is important is that if we add these two, we get 90 degrees, okay. So by automatically, it says if these two angles here, they give us 90 degrees. What about angle W1? Because angle W1 is part of the quadrilateral. Remember, we are talking about what is inside of the quadrilateral. So, all right, let's think about that angle W1. Okay, if I add angle W1 plus X plus Y, but we said X plus Y is equal to what? Is equal to 90. So W plus 90 degrees, is equal to 180 degrees. We're talking about angles in a triangle, angles in a triangle, all right? Considering triangle PWS, 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 because of that triangle, this PW2 to S, this part. These two angles, they gave you 90 degrees, these two angles because it is X and this is Y. And we are saying the combination of X and Y is 90 degrees. So in actual sense, we are supposed to write this as angle W1 plus angle X plus angle Y is equal to 180 degrees, whereby X plus Y is 90 degrees, which is this one. So what will be the value for angle W? Angle W is going to be transpose 90 to the other side, it becomes a negative. So that will be 90 degrees minus, uh, sorry, 180 degrees minus 90. Let me just change because here there's this four. Do not uh, confuse with this, these are the marks here. So that will be W1 is gonna be equal to uh, 180 degrees minus 90 degrees. If we take this 90 to the other side, it changes the sign. It was a positive. On the other side, it becomes a negative. So 180 minus 90, which is 90 degrees. So if this angle W1 is equal to 90 degrees, and that's the interior angle, meaning to say PSWT is a, para is a rectangle because we've got an interior angle of what? Of 90 degrees. If we have an interior, but already we already we say the PSW is a what is a parallelogram. The parallelogram part is already there. What is left is for us to have an interior angle. And now we have got an interior angle of 90 degrees. So therefore, it means P uh, WST, WST is a rectangle. Is a rectangle. Therefore, this is a rectangle. Since we are given what? That it is, remember we said it is a parallelogram before. So we are now talking about a parallelogram with interior angle of what? Of 90 degrees. So this is the reason that I want you to, to use at the end. Uh, at the end, you're gonna take this reason, right? Take this reason, the one that I was using, you write it here at the end because we have got, uh, because a rectangle is a parallelogram with interior angle of 90 degrees. Remember I said PSWT, P 
PSWT is a parallelogram. And the same PSWT inside of it, there's an interior angle of 90 degrees. So therefore, that makes it to be a rectangle. All right. So that is how we can prove uh, these questions. We just have to be very, very careful in the way how to attempt our questions, how to attempt our questions. We have to be very, very careful, understand the information that you are given, understand how you are given the information. This information that you're given here, they do not just write this, just, just to write, no, 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 no. It means a lot. You start by reading this information, take it to the diagram by the understanding of what you're given here. Present it on the diagram. Then from there, you can be able to answer any question because you've got an understanding which is properly given from, from your diagram. So I just hope we are going to have more questions of this type uh, or of this nature uh, in the coming classes so that you'll be able to prepare for the exams that are ahead of time.